Hi, and welcome to today's video. At the height of his strength career, Mark Henry was widely considered to be the strongest man in the world, and some even believe he may be the strongest man of all time. But was he really? Mark Henry was born in Silsby, Texas on the 12th of June 1971. He quickly outgrew other children of his age, and by the fourth grade, he already stood 5 feet and 5 inches tall and weighed 220 pounds. It was around this same time that Mark's mother purchased a set of weights in the hope that it would keep Mark and his older brother Patrick out of trouble. The boys trained with the set, adding additional weights to the bar with blocks of cement. When Mark strolled into Silsby High School as a freshman in 1986, he quickly found the weight room. In one of his first workouts, he loaded the bar to 315 pounds for a warm-up before adding two plates after each successful squat. With approximately 600 pounds on the bar, he performed several repetitions prior to being stopped by his coach. In his sophomore year, Henry weighed 350 pounds and lettered in football and basketball. Tilsby High also formed its first powerlifting team. He won his first Texas State High School powerlifting championship in the super heavyweight division as a sophomore in 1988, a title he would win again for the following two years consecutively. By the time he graduated, Henry had broken the state records in all three powerlifts with a 832-pound squat, a 525-pound bench press, and an 815-pound deadlift. Following the state meet in April of 1990, Henry competed in the National High School Powerlifting Championships where he set new national records in all three lifts to achieve a 2,033-pound national record total. According to the LA Times, his total was the 8th best in the world, regardless of age, at that time. In 1990, while winning his third state championship, Henry met former powerlifters Jan and Terry Todd. After watching Henry lift, Terry asked Mark if he had ever considered Olympic weightlifting. To Terry's surprise, Mark replied that the Russian Olympic champion, Vasily Alexiev, was one of his great heroes. Following this meeting, Jan and Terry Todd were excited by this young man's potential, and so they agreed to bring him to Austin, Texas for a tryout with an Olympic lifting expert. In the early summer of 1990, Mark and his mother traveled to Austin, where he demonstrated that he had the ability and desire to become a great Olympic weightlifter. Most of this was done in the gym, but Terry also witnessed that despite his huge size, Mark could easily dunk a basketball. His unusual combination of explosiveness, flexibility, and strength were unparalleled. The still-growing Leviathan was invited to move in with the Todds that summer and began training under Terry's supervision on the Olympic lifts. Mark's debut in Olympic lifting came just seven months later, at a weightlifting tournament in Louisiana. Although his technique was far from perfect, he set four junior national records at that meet. The US weightlifting head coach, Lynn Jones, told Sports Illustrated, After seeing Henry's debut performance, he considered him the greatest natural talent he'd ever seen. With the 1992 Olympic Games less than a year away, the US Weightlifting Federation agreed to make room for Henry at the US Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs. The hope was that if Mark could nail the technique, he would be in the running for an Olympic medal. In April 1991, Mark won the United States National Junior Championships. Twenty days later, he placed fourth at the US Senior National Championships and finished sixth at the Junior World Weightlifting Championships. In Henry's first year in competitive weightlifting, he broke all three junior American records 12 times and became the United States' top super heavyweight. At the age of 19, Henry had already managed to qualify for the 1992 Olympics, where he finished 10th in the super heavyweight class. After the Olympics, Henry became more determined to focus on weightlifting and began competing all over the world. In late 1992, he took the win at the USA Weightlifting American Open and further proved his dominance on the American soil by winning not only the US National Weightlifting Championships, but also the US Olympic Festival Championships in 1993 and 1994. At the 1995 Pan American Games, Henry won a gold, silver, and bronze medal. After several years living at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs, it became apparent that Henry's progress had become stagnant. This prompted Henry to return to Texas and Terry Todd became his sole coach in the lead-up to the 1996 Olympic Games in Atlanta. As Henry continued to train for Olympic weightlifting, he and Todd began to blend in some powerlifting too, 
and his strength in the powerlifts quickly grew. Mark returned to competition at the 1995 US National Powerlifting Championships, where he dominated the event with a 947-pound squat and a 903-pound deadlift. That deadlift was the first over 900-pound ever made in a drug-tested meet. Three months later, Mark won the World Powerlifting Championships, setting an all-time world record in the squat at 953 pounds, and a drug-tested world record totals 2,337 pounds. This impressive powerlifting performance, added to his Olympic lifting records, began a discussion in many quarters of whether Mark Henry might be the greatest overall lifter in history. In the spring of 1996, Mark earned the right to compete at the Olympics by winning the US National Weightlifting Championships for a third time. During his victory, Henry set an American record in the snatch at 397 pounds and clean and jerk at 485 pounds. Henry improved his lifts to 407 pounds in the snatch and 507 pounds in the clean and jerk during his final eight weeks of preparation for the 1996 Summer Olympics in Atlanta. Henry, at 414 pounds in body weight, became the largest athlete in Olympic history and was voted captain of the Olympic weightlifting team. Unfortunately, he suffered a back injury during the competition and had to drop out, resulting in Henry finishing in a disappointing 14th place. Following the 1996 Olympic Games, Henry retired from weightlifting, vowing never to return unless the sport was clean of anabolic steroids. Henry then signed a 10-year, multi-million dollar contract with the WWE, for whom he debuted on September 22, 1996. As Henry's wrestling career developed, he continued to train and perform impressive feats of strength and was billed as the world's strongest man on the basis of his five-lift total. In 2002, Henry took a hiatus from the WWE to train and compete in the first iteration of the Arnold Strongman Classic, called that year the Arnold Strength Summit. Henry trained for the competition under the guidance and tutelage of Terry Todd for four months, practicing the events that included the clean and press of a replica of the famous Apollon's wheels. At the competition, Henry weighed in at 410 pounds. His event training paid dividends after he recorded three repetitions with the Apollon's wheels to become the first man in history to achieve more than a single rep with a 360-pound weight. This win helped him to claim a definitive victory over an international field of the world's best strongmen to win the inaugural Arnold Strongman Classic. Following the Arnold Strongman Classic, Mark vowed to become the first man in history to clean and press the 172-pound Thomas Inch dumbbell with one hand. And so, after three months of training, before a crowd at the Association of Old Time Barbell and Strongmen dinner, Mark lifted and pressed the unliftable dumbbell. Henry would go on to become one of only a handful of people to deadlift the 238-pound millennial dumbbell, something also achieved more recently by Brian Shaw and Kirill Sarachev. Okay. <laughs> now married and a father of two, Mark Henry has a long career as a pro wrestler and was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2018. The main reasons behind some experts' belief that Mark Henry may be the strongest man to ever live is the fact that he has strongly opposed the use of any performance-enhancing drugs and has only ever competed in fully drug-tested competitions. Henry's five-lift total, made up of a 180kg snatch, 220kg clean and jerk, 432.5kg squat with wraps, 235kg bench press, and finally 410kg deadlift, provide a super total of 1,460kg or 3,219 pounds. That is claimed to be the all-time highest combined weightlifting slash powerlifting total in history. Until recently, Mark Henry was also the only tested powerlifter to squat and deadlift more than 900 pounds raw in a single competition. Mark's best lifts outside of competitions include a squat of 1,006 pounds, bench press of 585 pounds, a deadlift of 925 pounds, and in weightlifting, a snatch of 407 pounds and a clean and jerk of 507 pounds. As well as these lifts, Mark also recorded a front squat with 770 pounds and a behind the neck press of 400 pounds. While these lifts are incredibly impressive, given the lack of athletes who have competed in both powerlifting and weightlifting, is the combined super total of these sports really a viable way to come to the conclusion that Mark Henry was the strongest man to ever live?
That's it from me, but thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please take a moment to hit like, share the video, and subscribe for more. Thank you.